teams are within the area here. Homeboy is trying, trying to pick out on someone, but Sam9 Gang has already got eyes on them with the Evo's VIP behind them. There's really no place Homeboys could potentially go. Uh, Putra most probably saw Naoki uh, parking his vehicle on that end, but he's not actually paying attention onto it. So he's got to be careful, you know. Naoki can very well just come in with the, the flank. And he is behind a tree here as Ha Bravo takes down New, confirms the kill, and Homeboy is just like that in an instant. A snap of the finger, and they're out. Ah, uh, amigo, 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 psycho. So psycho just got eliminated there. <laughs> and yes, it reminded me of the song. So homeboys again, back into the lobby, feeling the first team out for a wrangle only at 15 minutes. So again, probably that was a communication breakdown that probably was not supposed to happen because you could see them rotating, uh, but got interrupted uh, by teams that was coming in. So now I'm about. I, I really want to see where TS goes this time or Team Secret because they have been quite consistent. Because of that, they are at the they are leading the scoreboard without chicken dinners by just maintaining a beautiful top five uh, position and and good amount of elimination points. So we can see them rotating in nicely in the middle there. So it's a high chance they might get to survive longer even close behind Team Secret there is. Farang Legend uh, that is probably doing a similar concept. They need to get back up for Farang Legend. They realise that they are not coming any close to the top four. And you know what? Super Weekend is the time where you take advantage of whatever points you get, bro. Because this is the round that is going to promise you to the next level. And in order for you to get into the next Super Weekend, you've got to do one another e extreme, um, you know, progress in the weekday. So you got to take advantage of everything. And taking advantage, they will, or at least we hope to see. But I guess this is always the issue when it comes to like the underdog teams. That when it comes to when it matters the most, like Super Weekend, you see a lot of them just freezing up or deciding to play super safe, super passive, uh, because to them, I guess positioning points is a safer bet to put on than actually taking fights. But yes, I agree. Uh, a lot of these teams need to start believing in themselves and making something happen here. Because we've seen the likes of Farang Legend. They can actually stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against Wolf Arof. They've beaten Wolf mm. Arof. They've wiped them clean. And for mm -hmm. some reason, they're playing it very safe now. Yes, uh, really waiting for a few of these teams to come back. But the ones that needs to come back right now is Sam9. Currently being contested with four rivals and also Wills. They only have a little cliff. They've got to be careful about four rivals. They are up there. They can't see uh, people from Sam9. That's probably what happened earlier with Drex that is currently on the ground here. Ay, ay, ay. An explosion of vehicles by Bravo. Nicely done towards Sam Bay. And then they already deployed the amount of smokes readily. So it's going to disturb the momentum that they're probably trying to push after this. Uh, it's not going to make things any much easier for them because look into four rivals spraying away onto Put and also the other partner that is coming up from the side here. Yeah. And it's worth mentioning Circle is closing in. And so Sam9 Gang, it's either you finish the war or get out real fast because your chance, your leeway to play around is, uh, well, slowly thinning. And it will decide to just leave the fate of Wales as it is and make the move on forward. Meanwhile, Jumper up on this high ground here, shooting through the glass and spots out onto Six, who will get tagged and is crawling on his knees. Is there any assistance that could come on his end? Four rivals denying Wales from actually entering the circle. So all those efforts from Sam9 Gang, it is the whales who eats up the prey. Mm-hmm. There you go. Four rivals uh, being the rival that they are standing by on the ground, uh, on the top part of the ground, waiting for opponents to come in. And they were actually targeting uh, Sam9, but... Uh, Unfortunately, they did not get, but that's not fortunate because there is a fortune after that. They managed to get four confirmed elimination points just by stopping Wales from coming in. Uh, now, we can see the circle is going to no man's land. It's over on the uphill, so it's really quite a tough battle this time. they got to play with the height. they got to play with the open ground, and they still need to eliminate players, as we are saying. But we can see that Four Rivals is cordoning off that angle over onto the uh, east side of the map. Uh, they are still on the slope and they just got to find the right angle to pick and pick and shoot, pick and shoot. Look into Pemburu doing such great length towards Put and he definitely do not have any more vehicles. 
Yeah, and such a great area of contention here. But hold that thought as RSG tries to push into Taba and C. Nox one gets grenade onto two. Banks is low, but not dead. Aduka, however, cannot operate in the optimal condition. But Taba and C actually turns this one around against the two of RSG. Now RSG is the ones on the back foot, but. They are well within circle. Dabai NC is under pressure off the blue zone. It will keep on expanding. And eventually, RSG will just pin them down and suppress them to a slow death. Yeah, yeah, and they are definitely in the troubles of the blue and they will not be able to come in as easy as it is. So probably they will get eliminated because of the blue zone because this blue zone is painful. It's already the fifth circle. So even if you don't, you have a lot of first aid, if you don't apply it on time, you will get eliminated. Now getting sprays here is a Bravo trying to spray onto Sam Z but not able to get that knock. Just a little bit of HP left. He might just get ahead of uh, the lead here. He might get that knock but the problem is he did not get to finish that well. So the problem is it lies still with S uh, Sam9 who needs to clear off Evos because if they were to run in the open, they still need to, you know, bother about Evos shooting onto them because somebody has already shot into Sam Z. Definitely information is being passed into Evos and looking them straight in the eye, trying to get back the angle because you can't see exactly what Sam Z is trying to do. Well, Putra oh. spots out onto Sam Z, although he's seen someone, but unfortunately, Sam 9, Putra will take down Evos, gets oh. traded off though, and now Team Secret within the area, along with Farm Legends and Evos, it's going to be quite the bloodbath here. Oh, Bravo gets taken down, gets knocked, but not dead, but with the blue zone coming in closer, he will go down, and a confirmed kill goes to the side of Evos. Meanwhile, Wolvaro getting eliminated. Four rivals, though, topping the charts at seven kills and still has still four members alive. One unwell, but still very much still breathing. Evos now only losing one member so far, and that is Sam Z. Still has the key player up, Razor, and Luxy could look to clutch something out here. Farang Legends is now going against a giant powerhouse. They are the ones keeping the Tigers from actually getting into the cage or the zone, as they call it. So no shelter for the White Tigers here. They will try and push. Has the cover of smoke. Will inch it closer. Has to be careful though, because Team Secret could very well just come in. Four rivals now up against uh, Geek Fam, I think, on the other end. Does not see the bullet trail, so wouldn't see that much. But Maki. The last man standing from the previous engagement. Wall try and gets in. Tries to close it onto Axis. Red one. Will he do it? No. It is a 2v1. Oh well, well that's as good as it gets. <laughs> Well done, and that was it. It was given, and initially, when before the six circle came in, I saw how Farang kind of placed themselves. It was a good formation there. It was like a diamond shape. They were guarding that beautifully, but unfortunately, Adik look got spotted. And usually, instances like this, any kind of formation, it will be disturbed. And we can see Team Secret is pushing hard on towards Farang, but we can see Farang. They have already deployed themselves two and two, so they might just lose Adik look and. The person with him, which is Loopy, but Rapper Boy and Ricky will be safe. That is my prediction of things that will come out here. But there is still Evos that will get in the way of TS. TS needs to clear off two teams right in front of them now. And it's not looking good because Farang already got himself three elimination points. And that is from Team Secret. Farang Legends, the underdogs, finally doing damage here, finding the courage to Ooh. even push on forward, takes down a member of EVOS, and that is the entire of teams. Farang Legends now has five kills under their belt. Oh, I mean, four rivals has five kills under their belt. EVOS finally out, four rivals down with two members injured, two more on the active, losing another one. Four rivals is crumbling apart, and it becomes a game of Axis Red One and Farang Legends. Axis doing a a great job pinning and suppressing four rivals from their advancement uh going down into the low ground but foreign legends is still within the same same situations with four rivals actually red one just is in a great compounding. They can look to hold Farang Legends, who is currently on the top side here. Voki to fall down from Axis, Red One. Farang Legends, they fight back. They're punching. He's trying to confirm the kill. He will. Kachang Susu is there, right next to his friend's uh, body as he falls down flat. 
onto the ground here. Varong Legends definitely has the advantage of the high ground, but it all depends on where this next circle will fall into. Four rivals still barely making it with Appy hiding behind a rock. But this circle closes down towards the compounds of Axis ah. Red 1. This is so advantageous for them. The first time they had a chicken dinner, they had the circle. And it's looking like they might just hold themselves out just a little bit longer. Oh man, that was a call. Really, I did not expect that because Faron was ready to push. They they know that uh, somewhat they got the momentum of the beat. And usually when they are on the advantage point, that's their, how do you say the advantage of gameplay, that's usually how they do it. But this time when the circle shifted, Axis is going to deploy smokes after smokes. They're going to play mind games. And Axis with mind games, they go quite far. Okay, so it's really going to be quite difficult because we still got Epi at the back there. He's going to make things a little bit difficult for Farang because that's the nearest kind of engagement that Epi can get in. And Epi being Epi, his shots are painful, you know. You know, he's a, his job is a fragger and he, he don't miss his shots. But I don't know what's happening to him. He is actually doing a little bit of a healing game here, running towards here. And probably if Ricky might just get that shot, but no, Mika gets the best out of four rivals, Epi, back in the lobby. Now, Farang versus Axis. And we can see the push is happening here. Adi looks coming in closer. Kachang Susu has a very good barrier, a barricade right in front of him, which is actually a vehicle and also a rock. But the shots are coming in from this vantage point. One goes down. Ferris now left with two. Kachang, Susu and Nika. Yes, Farang Legends finally actually forces Axis Red One out of the compounds. They call their home and is on the offense. But oh my god, two from the side of Farang Legends will get injured and down. Meanwhile, they're still pushing into Kachang Susu. He's the last remember remaining behind the rock. Can he actually outplay himself? Arik Luke will try firing a circle across it behind him.